all the world a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They all have their exits and their entrances. And one woman in her time plays many parts. My college is doing a production of As You Like It. We were rehearsing last week. And as I said those words, I looked into the wings and my best friend Rachel was waving at me. I'm trying to remember my lines. Why is Rachel waving at me? I can't remember my lines. <laughs> and I just started laughing, so we stopped. It's vintage Rachel. Anyway, um, Rachel was all twisted up and doing a dance. Like she had to go to the bathroom or something, but turns out that Rachel didn't have to go to the bathroom. It was a phone call from home. My brother, Ross, he needs a bone marrow donor. Again. I guess, technically, my parents are asking me if I want to do it. And I want to, want to do it. But I don't feel like I have any choice. I try to pretend that I'm not scared, that it isn't really any big deal. I am so scared. I've donated bone marrow before, when I was 12. And it turns out that I've donated bone marrow to Ross when I was just a year old. Turns out that the only reason why they ever even had me was because Ross needed bone marrow. I suppose no one chooses to be born. But we have some sense, some illusion maybe, that we were willed into existence by the great forces of the cosmos. But I was just made for the sole purpose of providing Ross with spare parts. Who am I? Am I some old car in the junkyard? You find the part you want, take a hacksaw to it. If Ross is so defective, then why don't they just let him die and conceive a replacement Ross the way they conceived me? I mean, when is it enough? Of course, I want to help my brother, but I just, I wish I could feel that I had a choice, that I could choose. I have no choice. This is my destiny. This is the reason why I exist. Why do any of us exist? Because our parents were drunk and bored one Saturday night a long time ago. Is who we are forever determined by the circumstances of our past? Are we forever yoked by history? I don't think so. But then if we redefine each moment, then are we just machines, just constantly loading new software? I have to believe that I am a unique person with a unique destiny. I may be in Ross's shadow. And there may be billions of humans on Earth. But I am the only me. No one else is ever going to have the same thoughts, dreams, or fears again. I was born of purely utilitarian reasons. I was born of someone else's choice. But my future, I think, will be my own choice. <laughs>